Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is going to be a soul's journey reading and as always it is a general reading so the messages may or may not resonate with you. It just kind of depends on what um, comes out. It is a reading for the collective. Uh, just remember that time is fluid, energies are interchangeable, um, and it is not gender specific. So just keep an open mind and take what resonates, all right? Let's go ahead and jump right in. We are in the middle of Gemini season, <clears throat> your sister sign. And this season is all about interconnectedness. It's about communication, togetherness, um, love, partnerships. Um, what else? Movement, things falling into place, mm -hmm. duality, yep. which is very beautiful if you think about it. It's just all the moving parts. You know, Gemini to me is like the data gatherer. It's like the bees that move or that collect pollen from one <clears throat> flower and move it to another flower. You know what I mean? And that's what we're meant to learn this season. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius spirit. Universe spirits and guys, what's the current energies for Aquarius? Thank you. One spirit, time for a deep dive. You know what's interesting? As I was doing the meditation for your reading, I kept hearing like rising like the phoenix, rising like the phoenix. And I'm thinking, you know, so Aquarius is beginning to like own their shit or they are owning their shit. But what, I'm, but what I'm also sensing is like this energy of it of a like reserved determination and it's, it feels very Scorpionic. And I know because I'm Scorpio, <clears throat> but it feels like in a way you're, you are being very reserved, but also there's a quiet determination within you. I feel like there's this fire that is is like brewing underneath you know what i mean and it feels like you're about to unleash this phoenix which is also very scorpio energy right but right now it feels like you are really taking that deep dive really um in hermit mode evaluating your emotions being more gentle with yourself Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Rabbit spirit. Now, the rabbit spirit talks about um, basically law of attraction. Um, on, and what, what I'm getting here is we can think of this rabbit in, in two different ways, right? This can either be a very fortunate you know, lucky rabbit, or this can be the fearful, you know, afraid rabbit, the very timid rabbit that's afraid to venture off too far. But when we talk about law of attraction, the, the story goes that the rabbit is very fearful of this eagle, you know, flying up above, that it goes around telling all of its neighbors, you know, hey, watch out for this eagle. And this rabbit goes around telling this story so loudly that ultimately the, the eagle ends up hearing it and thanking the rabbit for the great idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you're afraid of something uh, long enough or if you are fearful of something for so long, if you continue to feed into that energy, ultimately that's what you're gonna get, right? So we got to be careful about that energy. 
it's giving me like <clears throat> like careful what you wish for vibes hmm let's go ahead and pull a wisdom of the oracle card what are the messages do we have for aquarius Let's start that over here. What other messages do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. There we go. Here and now. <clears throat> this is giving me the energy of not only being present, like in the being, like focusing on being present in, in the now and appreciating the abundance that is around you. But it's also giving me this energy of just kind of being in the middle between the past and the future. Just kind of, it doesn't feel like things are stagnant. It just feels like, it just feels like you've taken a step back. Like you've kind of taken time to, to pause and evaluate things maybe it's like you're trying you're trying to understand what it is that you're f what's holding you back in terms of like your fears you're staying grounded <clears throat> and you're in between the past and the future and it feels like you're trying to understand yourself more Interesting, okay. But I do feel like you are being present. You are engaging in the now. What the heck? What is up with this energy? Again, community keeps wanting to come up. Something about the community. Something about your soul tribe. Uh, or support system. Oh my god. <laughs> Aquarius, I'm sorry, I've never had this happen before where these cards just keep flopping out like that. Yeah. Indecision. See, again, between the past and the future, or you're at a crossroads, or something about trying to decide what it is that you truly want because i i feel <clears throat> like maybe you have options here or maybe the future requires a you know dramatic change in your life and you fear that change or you fear the commitment that is involved with that I don't know. Let's see. We're going to pull a Moonology card. What other messages do we have for Aquarius Spirit? Thank you. Look. Very Scorpio energy. Work through your fears. New Moon in Scorpio. Something about opening up to a to a newer version of yourself but it has to do with dealing with your fears interesting honestly i'm not used to this uh this side of aquarius i'm used to like the more confident side bottom of the deck here we got the king of coins so you're focused on home security Stability, you know, money, finances, business. <clears throat> it feels like you're very much being comfortable where you are. Or it's that feeling of contentment in, in terms of like your home life, you know, your partnership. What messages do we have for Aquarius? Highest good spirit. 
put messages to the back of Aquarius. I stood. The Eight of Cups in reverse. There is a need to walk away from something that no longer serves you, something that's been holding you back emotionally, I feel. The Emperor, Aries energy. This is that element of control. That's that element of like keeping it, keeping things together, keeping things, you know, tight, organized, uniform. And I feel like maybe there's been a some control issues, but I also feel that you are gaining control or you're, or there's this energy of like keeping your emotions under control. Yeah, as you see the four of coins, you see how she's holding on too, like too tightly. This could be holding on too tightly to finances, material, possessions. Um, it could also be obsessing over a certain energy, a certain person. It could be holding on to a certain emotion. You know, so however it resonates for you, it just feels like it's just this energy of like being afraid to let go. Mm, maybe that's where this rabbit comes into play being too afraid to let go of the past or being afraid to let go of a situation hmm you're at a crossroads yeah death in reverse Scorpio energy again you got a lot of Scorpio showing up in your reading but there is a resistant to, resistance to change when it shows up in reverse like that. It, it's just like this energy of change needs to happen in order, in order for there to be growth and progression. But there's a, it, there's, it feels like there is an um, unwillingness to, to do so because it's like you're holding on to what you, what you got going on right now. You know what I mean? Three of Wands. This is making the journey. Interesting. Oh, spirit. Mm -hmm. The Devil in Reverse Capricorn Energy. Letting go of attachments. The Moon in Reverse. Purging? Oh my god. Are you purging this energy, Aquarius? <clears throat> yeah. Because it's like we said earlier, this is Aquarius rising like a phoenix here. One more spirit. Look at that, the queen of coins. Now for some of you, this could be talking about a, <clears throat> some type of soulmate connection, some type of bond or um, a divine partnership, divine counterpart. Because earlier we saw the king of coins. Now we see the queen of coins. And this is somebody who is, you know, abundant, um, nurturing, radiates beauty some of you i feel like you are in a partnership not only you know romantically speaking but also like business bottom of the deck look the two of swords again you're at a crossroads wow I think that whatever whatever <clears throat> shift that you're making, this is like going to be a major change. This is like rising like the phoenix. It's going to be something that's going to truly impact your, you and those around you. For some of you, this 
queen of coins could be a reason why there is a resistance to change so this could be earth energy taurus virgo capricorn this could be somebody who is business savvy right an entrepreneur but this person could be the person that is you know holding you holding you back or keeping you from you know evolving completely it it just feels like there there is a need to purge negative um emotions negative energy <clears throat> for some of you i feel like this is going to lead to i don't know i i just i just get this this image of like two two people coming together and really <clears throat> uniting their powers to create something really really powerful to create something really significant here i'm talking like a like a like a like teamwork you know what i mean honestly this is what i feel more is just the sense of like working with somebody in order to to rise you know like i think this person is is this could be someone else, but I'm, what I'm saying is whoever this Queen of Coins is, this could also be somebody who is helping you to, to truly, you know, ascend. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the most likely outcome here. We're going to take a glimpse into the future. Uh, remember that actions shape destiny. We all have free will, so... Just take this message with a grain of salt, all right? Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Look, we got the moon again. You know, we did just have that uh, eclipse, right? The lunar eclipse. Maybe this is going, this energy is going to be <clears throat> helping you to purge certain emotions, certain feelings, right? Hmm, interesting. All right, Spirit, what's coming up next for Aquarius? What's coming up next for Aquarius? Hi, it's good. So we got the Five of Wands in reverse. Oh, see. We got the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Six of Wands. <clears throat> Two more, they said. Hangman in reverse. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Scorpio energy. <clears throat> What's on the bottom of the deck? Queen of Wands. Wow. So, Aquarius. I feel like what's going to happen is... What's coming up next for you is... Success. Victory or some kind of triumph over certain struggles I feel a sense of enlightenment happening and with this queen of cups is telling me that you're becoming more open and receptive in terms of love and so not only is all of this <clears throat> happening for you but you are also reaching a level of creativity and ambition with this queen of wands here you know, this is somebody who is mag magnetizing. Ooh. And then we got the king. Whoa. Are you seeing this? The king of wands and then the ace of cups. 
some of you are dealing with a divine counterpart here and it almost feels like this is this is new love or it feels like this is the beginning of something new for some of you but back to what i was saying here i feel like your heart is going to crack open you it, it this is giving me that energy of like not competing anymore you know it's like whatever it is that you you felt that you had to like hold on to so tightly and you couldn't let go or you were obsessing over it it's just giving me this energy of kind of letting that go and really staying focused on your own happiness and what's happening is your heart is opening up and you're becoming more inspired and motivated to inspire wow that's beautiful aquarius i love that energy it's very strong it really is rising like the phoenix holy cow interesting all right let's go ahead and close out this reading with a sacred destiny oracle card here oh thank you so what kind of advice do we have here look at that change you can't resist change because the more we, we fight it the the harder it will become the harder the journey will become so some of you are dealing with transitioning here somehow i don't know it's going to be different look i opened the book like this and it literally wow i love it when that happens okay <clears throat> it's okay to change your mind it's all right to change directions you do not need to be consistent this is the time to put the needs and expectations of others aside and listen to the beat of your own drum you don't need to follow tradition create your own traditions you are free to express yourself and let your spirit fly be daring go beyond predictable behavior just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean that it needs to continue to be done that way. You can't control the exact circumstances of your life, but you can control what meaning you give to them. Select meanings that empower you, for this is the time to be carefree, wild, and unpredictable. Wow, you see that? So it, overall, I get, I just feel like there is this energy of just being fearful of change and i don't know why i feel like it's going to be different for for all of you but there's a there's this major stepping stone i feel that it's like you have to decide do you go for it or do you not and i feel like there's this part of you that's kind of holding you back in terms of that there, there's a certain fear fear of commitment or fear of of something fear of the outcome or the unknown but spirit is saying go with it you know now's the time to fully be yourself aquarius you know what i mean all right aquarius that's all i have for you today i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did please go ahead and click the like button down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And until next time, Aquarius, I will see you later. Bye.